us. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Welcome to my meal prep day. So we're going to be making meal prep in less than 30 minutes. You want it, you need it. And if you want to continue to see what I'm going to do, stay tuned. All right, I'm about to start some cooking. Um, hey, fancy finding you here. Got somebody behind the camera today. The sensational Lisa gonna be helping me to film this today. So we're gonna have some half decent angles for once. So I'm gonna make some jerk salmon today. I think if I've got the paste that I need, and then I'm also gonna do some rice and peas couscous, but it's not rice and peas because it's couscous, but you call it rice and peas couscous because obviously, like, that's the concept that I'm trying to, you know. Just wait, just wait me, I'm coming. Cool. Yeah. Right, you guys are gonna have to get really used to me because I'm actually quite a messy, like a messy chef, can't lie. So my food tastes nice, but it's definitely a fight for me to get to that place. All right, now let's season up this salmon and make it taste good. Hold on, let me take it back a step. Actually, I didn't show you my seasoning cupboard and the seasonings that I'm gonna use. So we're gonna go, we're trying to go for a jerky type flavor. So we're gonna go for some jerk seasoning, baby. Hot chili powder, garlic and herb season. I think I have another one of this because this one is clearly, this one is clearly gone. Cool, I think those will be my basics. And then if we move over here, I'm gonna grab some soya because salmon and soy sauce, soya, soy sauce and salmon, they bang together. The light one helps with the flavor, the dark one helps with the color. So we're gonna go with the light one. Okay, so you've seen some of my staple seasoning, so let's head back to season up the salmon with the seasonings that I just used, obviously. So I'm putting on my chili powder, I'm putting on my garlic and herb, just seasoning that up and making it taste good because even though we're trying to do healthy, 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 it still has to taste good. No, not too many salt-based seasonings as always. So yeah, let's get into it, baby girl. this salmon in the fridge now to marinate a little bit obviously first choice is to do it overnight but sometimes that's not practical put it in the fridge and we're going to work on our veg now all right so now we're going to do our veg now i always keep it really simple i just buy some mixed veg um options from tesco sainsbury's wherever i'm shopping and then literally just steam them down like nothing fancy so i'm going to put that to boil I've got some bell peppers here as well, which is also a veg, but I'm using that to make a nice sauce for the salmon. This particular week I was feeling hella saucy because normally, sometimes that salmon can just be dry, but this week I was feeling saucy. Maybe Bay put me in a good mood or something, and I decided to make an extra sauce to go with the salmon fish. So yeah, just chopping them all up now. Bell peppers are definitely a staple um, and definitely nice in taste and obviously healthy. So it's a win-win situation, baby. Well, then Monday to Friday, back to this nasty, but no. Yo, you see my body? I've rinsed it off at House of Charlie, though. I even had two colours. That's really embarrassing for you. I feel like I just want everything done. I 
always making progress. might be ready for sizzling let's test no no that was very underwhelming <laughs> oh, oh, oh. it's cooking the kidney beans in now i know that they're in a can and my caribbeans are going to be so vexed because you're not supposed to use it out of the can but the reality of the situation is I am not getting the fresh thing to start making, so especially for meal prep on a Sunday afternoon. 2024, we're okay. <laughs> so I'll start cooking those, just let them get a little bit softer while I do the sauce or I do the peppers or I do I just do something else while those kidney beans are getting softer and softer. Okay, so like I mentioned, just putting some seasoning on the onions, ever so slight, like you don't have to overdo it. My principle is, and I stick by it, I swear by it, and I tell all my clients this, when you're cooking for your day to day, go easy on the salt and the oils and stuff like that. Go easier than you normally would. Obviously, if you're cooking for a party and everybody's coming to taste your jollof and everybody's coming to taste your chicken, you have to put your foot into it and make sure it tastes nice. And unfortunately, healthy has to go out the window. However, when you're doing meal prep, you can't can't cook the food the same way this time I'm only putting slight only a little bit it has to taste nice still as you know with cooking obviously timing is everything so that's why I'm putting the corn on the cob into the water probably we'll cut them into like mini so they actually fit into the container but yeah I just put those into the water first and let them boil down and then when they're almost cooked then I'll put the rest of the veg in sexy sexies we're gonna get the salmon into the pan now now i bought this griddle pot and i just love this pan so much i make so many things in there so as you can see i've got hardly any oil in there in fact probably no oil in the pan but it will still cook the food and it will not burn this is why i love this pan so much so i'm putting the salmon in there and then you're gonna slap in the rest of the vegetables because the corn on the cob has made some good progress and as you can also see the sauce is coming along quite nicely as well so you can start to see the meal prep is coming together if you were in the flat the smells and the fumes will be in your nostrils listen it bangs and also it is quick i recommend you try it all right like as i said um so now the salmon with the basic seasonings has gone in and i've put together my nice little glaze um in here is like some jerk based seasonings um i've put some probably some jerk barbecue in there as well look i'm not going to give you all my recipe you can't know my secret ingredients and don't even worry about it too much because people have been catting for this jerk salmon so just know that i put i put my foot into it and it's gonna go off Alright, going in. Right. What? Giant couscous? Oh. Jesu! Jesu! You shot that mum. No, guys, this was a big fat L. Like, literally, the giant couscous. Do you know what? It wasn't that bad, but I'm just, I wasn't used to it. It's not what I mentally prepared for. So, like, it just wasn't a bit of me. And um, I can't even, I can't lie to you. Like, what I had to do is, I actually had to rescue the whole thing. I had no more kidney beans. I picked out all of the kidney beans and then I made another couscous on the side. So that is why the couscous is so pale because normally the kidney beans will stain the couscous a little bit and make it like have that nice kind of ready color. But honestly, I was not trying to work with the giant couscous so we just had to force it. My love, so don't give away. My love, so don't give away. In the 
another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. In another woman that can take your spot, my love. Alright guys, so I'm done with my meal prep. Thank you so much for tuning in. So obviously there are not eight days in the week, but there are eight containers here and I can explain that. So four are for me and four are for my babe. Cause he buys the shopping and I do the cooking. Anyway, um, but yeah, four for him and four for me. And then on Fridays, obviously it's takeaway day. So yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe.